Hello everybody, Nicole here. Welcome to Tillage Village. We are outside at the moment. We are in the side area of the vegetable garden and um, we're trying to wrap up a lot of things now because the weather has been so hot. We've had a really good uh, season from um, February right through till July, but the temperatures are getting so hot now. So we're harvesting a lot of food putting that away and some of the other types of food like the tomatoes etc it's actually just too hot so we're going to wrap a lot of those up pull them out and restart um, in September some more, tom more tomatoes so we should have enough to keep us uh, going but um, a lot of the things we're just uh, cleaning up and getting ready getting everything ready for the fall garden. We cleared all the tomatoes, we cleared uh, about 99% of the pumpkins, so I'll show you those. Just There's just a few left now. See this is the area where there's just a few of the pumpkins left and the ones that are left they are either green or some of them like there's one here that's ready to be harvested and I'd say there's about maybe 10 maybe about another 10 pumpkins left a few of them are green so we'll just wait a while and um, just let this drag out with the pumpkins and then we'll harvest this area here is the sweet potatoes and as you can see some of the pumpkins which I'll show you here this one is sweet potatoes but this larger one is pumpkin where it's grown in and I actually think there's a pumpkin in there maybe but um, hopefully yeah there is I'll show you where the pumpkins are growing in you see the pumpkin there so um, Hopefully we should have a really good sweet potato harvest because it goes all the way around. We had a uh, smaller harvest last year because one of the children, we, I said we have uh, two special needs children, one of them actually pulled the sweet potatoes up. So, um, so hopefully this should do, be a really good harvest. We have another sweet potato section growing on the other side of the property and that's something new that we're trying so we're trying to do a double area of growing to see how that works but really the main thing is to to grow what grows well in your area now sweet potatoes grow really really well here so we just plant them there's not much you really have to do you could actually not water them and just let the rain the summer rain water them during the um, a couple of months ago we were watering them but now we're just letting the rain just water the sweet, sweet potatoes because we we're getting really heavy afternoon showers so that's a good thing and um, as I said we have another sweet potato section over on the other side of the property I'm going to show you that because remember the slips that we planted well they're growing now and they're doing really well we are also getting all the beds planted for the uh, fall garden in the autumn time so we will plant cabbages green beans peas because cauliflower because it's too hot at the moment so we're prepping all the areas for the beds so a lot of the things uh, are being prepared for the winter areas a lot of the long beds these beds are I don't know maybe uh, 30 feet long so we're prepping all those beds we still do have a few more butternut squash that are ready to be picked and harvested so we'll collect all those in some of them weren't ready so these are just the stragglers now we have the remainder um, poblama peppers that we're collecting these are some of the bell peppers the last ones that are left, so we'll bring these ones in. They're actually pretty big, so that's pretty good. 
we have all the pineapples are doing really well so once we harvest these they go along about another 15 feet but um we'll harvest them cut the tops off put them in water let them root and then we'll wait another two years and then we'll have more pineapples this plant here I'll show you is a moringa that's a super plant so good for so many um, ailments but I'll probably do a video just on this plant shortly and we have multiple uh, moringa plants scattered around the property and just behind it is another moringa but uh -huh. above going across that there is passion fruit, the passion fruit vine. Um, you can actually uh, eat the leaves, make them into tea. I don't see any flowers on this at the moment, but um, hopefully in the next month, month and a half, we should get some flowers. Even the blueberries are ready. Now we're on the other side of the property and if you remember the sweet potato cuttings that we did and then we kept them in water and until they rooted and then we planted them in this area and here they are all growing. As you can see they're doing pretty well. Something's been eating, I don't know whether it's a deer, but these here you can see the top there we go but um that's that that's okay it's not really a problem because this is the second sweet potato area that we have so we are going to re-mulch this type of area here all around so we'll keep growing and then these will keep rooting down in there like this and they'll just produce sweet potatoes so these will be ready um, towards the end of the year so we'll have like a double harvest which is good now some of these tomato plants have dried up so we are getting ready to um, start some uh, new tomato plants in this uh, th this other area so I did uh, these cuttings of these mulberries on June 23rd 2022 this year now I wasn't sure whether these would take whether they would uh, produce roots but surprisingly a month later we have roots now um, as I said these are two ever-bearing mulberry trees that we have they're really tall I don't know 18 feet maybe and you know every year we would we had them near the house and we would cut them back but uh, I did some cuttings from them and you're going to see after a month, I mean, I changed the water, but I hadn't changed the water in about three weeks because I really didn't, two weeks, I really didn't um, pay much attention to it. And I'm going to show you, let's get this one because that one's stuck. It's okay, there's no roots on that one. But look, they all, they all started to look like this. They started to look dead and I was like, oh, well, maybe they're not going to take but okay look see we have roots there I'm going to show you this one you see see all the roots there let's see what that one's like because this has a lot of growth on oh yeah See all the roots there and you can see the new growth so I am pleased about that because mulberries produce a lot of fruit and we've had these mulberry trees I would say um, eight years at least eight years so I'm going to pot these up and um, 
we get some more little mulberries. So I have placed the two um, mulberries that have rooted in pots, one in a plastic, one in a terracotta, and I want to see which one does best. Now, these will place in the shade so they're not in direct sun till they're really established and then they can go in full sun. I also have two elderberry cuttings as these just grow wild. So um, I did the cuttings, just placed them in water. Within a week they were rooting. So we placed them in the containers and now I'm going to plant these. Hey everyone, I'm out and about. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to encourage you to keep on preparing, keep on growing food, preserving, dehydrating, etc. Do as much as you can. I know the weather soon will start to change. And for those of you who are in colder climates, the, um, the weather will start to you know, uh, begin to get really cool. So just try and prepare and think about um, if you're not able to go out and get food because the weather is so severe so um, keep those things in mind try and get the things that you need now you know you're coming into the winter months uh, soon things like soups uh, stews make sure you have uh, provisions to make those types of food and um, and if you're in areas where it's going to be continually hot, try and think about things like um, shade houses, um, nettings that can cover uh, um, large areas that can make it a little bit cooler. We're actually going to be building a shade house so that can make um, a lot of our growing a little bit cooler. So I hope you are going to stay safe, keep growing and remember do as much as you can Jesus loves you. Take care. Bye.